Hey Cancer, this is your 2019 Junk Tarot Overview. This is a super duper duper quick overview of 2019, so nothing in depth. Take it with a grain of salt, it's extremely general. Uh, we're just going to see what kind of energies are popping up for Cancers in 2019. Um, coming to you from my beach house. I haven't posted a lot on Drunk Tarot, and I don't know how often I'll be able to keep this up. I'm still going to keep it because it's super fun. But I'm on some next level shit and Drunk Tarot doesn't pay my bills. It's just a fun hobby. So let's get it cracking. All right. I don't want to move the camera too much. So generally, it's looking like 2019 is... It's going to be you thinking outside of the box. Something emotionally is not f taking hold early on. So maybe you thought you were into something or someone and it was a good idea and it's a good thought um, but the more and more you thought about it or discovered things about a person place or thing the more you decided that you not you don't see yourself emotionally bonding or attaching or emotionally investing in something i mean it was cute and it was novel but it's looking like at the beginning of 2019 you could be like meh you could have that energy about something the seven of swords is saying that you could possibly be feeling like um slipping out the back. Do you know what I mean? Like you said yes to something, but you're kind of like, meh, not so much. And you're, you're kind of like wanting to get out of something that you kind of semi committed to whatever that means for you guys. The Knight of Pentacles could indicate that you have, um, an energy in 2019 where things are taking too long. Like this hurry up and wait energy is going to be felt throughout 2019 and things could just be taking too long for you. So that's something that you need to, to work through. Um, and then of course the three of wands, some of you guys could have three kids. Some of you guys could just be feeling like you, it's not anxiety. It is uh, more of a feeling of halt, like stop, go halt. It, you do have a hope for something to move ahead in 2019, but it's taking too long. And that goes with the Knight of uh, Pentacles energy. So be prepared for some kind of frustrations. I know it's very general. It's like super fucking vague. Like you're going to be frustrated in 2019. Like I get how vague that sounds, but the reality is that you're going to be frustrated in 2019. Um, I think it's because things just don't happen quickly enough in your favor. But the Page of Cups is telling me that you could just, you, you might just need to take a chill pill and let things play out. It has nothing to do with the universe around you. I think it's, these are all minor. So I feel like you could, it could just be you. <laughs> You're the problem, Cancer. <laughs> no, I think that if you're not interested in doing something, you need to say no. That's the advice, 100%. If you're not interested in doing something, say no on the spot, on the spot. Because you're going to, it's like a tangled web we weave, you know, when first we practice to deceive. Just drop some Shakespeare on your asses. And you just need to, if you don't have a, a feeling inside your gut in 2019 that feels like, yeah, that's what I want to do, don't do it. Because you're going to get wrapped up in something that you can't get out of or that's hard to get out of. Now let's move on to love. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo, but forget about the signs. Most of you guys are dealing with the fact that you are coming out of a period of hibernation, a period of um, hermitism. You're coming out of a time of deep thinking and you have a renewed sense of who you are and what you want in a relationship. So because of that, you're doing a lot of discovery. There's going to be a lot of communication, texting, emailing with someone. You could be messing with a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, but forget about the signs. It doesn't matter. The Page of Swords is saying that there's going to be a lot of exploration. You're going to be doing a lot of talking, a lot of talking. So you're going to be out there flirting. If you're single, you will no longer be single in 2019, period, end of story. You're going to be in a committed relationship before the year is over. If you're not single and you're in a committed relationship, something that has been the status quo in your relationship for a super long time is changing. Either someone is going to want to move or get a new job or what you got your routine that you guys have been doing for the longest time that's going to be over and you're going to be doing something totally brand new with your partner so maybe you guys were you were into something and in 2019 it's going to be like well we're not doing that anymore we're doing this now 
And so it's going to change everything. Um, there could be also big endings to relationships. So that could be something if you've been in a long-term committed relationship and suddenly something happens, you guys could break up. So the death card does indicate major end or shift or change in the status quo. So what you're used to ends in a, in a love relationship. If you're single, you're not going to be single anymore. Or think of it this way too. If you're single, you could just say, I'm okay with being single in 2019. Do you know what I mean? Like a feeling will end. What has been the norm will end. So those are things to look forward to in 2019. It's not a bad year, you guys. It's not a bad year. It's just a year that promises that you will be challenged with timing. So you need to practice a little bit of patience. You will be asked to uh, step back and let things happen as they will. You're asked to uh, be true to yourself. If you're not into something, you have to say it right there on the spot. You're coming out of a period of hibernation. If you're looking for love, you're going to be doing a lot of chatting, lots of chatting, texting, emailing, lots of discovery with people very quickly. And because it's a page, if you're not into someone, you're going to just completely stop texting them. That's going to be it. No, like nothing. Um, oh, and some of you guys could meet a Scorpio. That's a hardcore. That's a hardcore. Yes. If you meet a Scorpio this year, 2019, that's going to be a yes, dog. That's a yes for me, dog. I absolutely think you should be with a Scorpio this year. 100%. Um, Virgo, not so much. 100% of Scorpio, yes. So good luck in 2019. You guys are doing great. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.